Hi all of you, hope you guys are great. So in this video, I just want to give you a quick update about the project which we are working on, Uniswap Loan Decentralized Exchange. And you have noticed that we have almost done with the front end part, we have almost done with the smart contract and we have also tested that smart contract locally. So everything's working fine. But before we move ahead, I just want to talk about a few things because if you look at Uniswap protocol, there is a lot of things goes into that. So if you really want to make a true clone of that Uniswap, we have to understand that what are the things actually there in the Uniswap decentralized exchange. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this video. And I'm going to also talk about that what are the documentation we have to follow before we move ahead and connecting the smart contract and providing liquidity right on the applications. So we have to talk about the protocol, the smart contract, the SDK, VP protocol, and we have to understand the code base, existing code base, which we're going to use in this project. Okay, so that's what I'm going to discuss and I will also provide you the complete source code of the project which we have done so far, whatever we have covered so far, that's all I'm going to provide. You can follow and if you have any error in the previous lecture, you can simply compare the code and you can see. So let me show you what we have done so far and this is what we have built so far. This is the home page. If you click on this token, this is the token page. If you click on this pool page and this is the pool page, I'll provide you a complete source code. Whatever we have covered so far, that's all you will get and you can compare code if you have any error. So now what we have to build exactly. So if I come here, if I come to the smart contract, the liquidity smart contract, you can see and this is the entire smart contract we have written for the liquidity. We have taken this two token which is already there on the blockchains and we are providing liquidity. But this is not what we want. We want our own token to provide liquidity. And so for that, we have to do a lot of modification into the contract, so which we're going to do definitely. So this is the entire contract. Everything's working fine. So before we move ahead and start connecting the contract and displaying on the front end, we have to understand that what are the extra functionality we have to provide, which actually Uniswap is providing. Okay, so you can see this is the swap place. If I want to shop any tokens so right now, I won't take this wrap either. Right now, I don't have anything. So I can provide this one. You can see the pricing is getting automatically updated. This pricing. So this is the one functionality we have to focus. And this function is not based on the smart contract. This function is going to be based on the SDK, the Uniswap SDK, V3 SDK. And that's what we're going to utilize it. So this is the one function, which is a pretty simple. Let's come to the pool section. And here you can see the same exact interface we have. And if we click on this new pool, here you can see here we get the options so we have to select the token which we want to provide the liquidity we can select this as an ether we can select the other token which is a uniswap and this is the two token we have so this will everything's working fine if you want to select the liquidity range we can select this and this price is also getting updated so this is the also one of the features we have and here we have the option to set the maximum and minimum when we are selecting the token the price is also getting updated and that's happening because of this. So if you come here, this is the entire smart contract for providing liquidity. If you come to the increased liquidity section, you will find we have these functions, non-fungible position manager, but what it is and what exactly is happening. I can easily able to connect this and build the entire functionality, but it's not going to make any sense because when someone will ask you that what this function are doing, what kind of protocol is following, what kind of data is transferring, it will create a confusion. So the first thing we're going to do right from here, the upcoming videos, we have to understand every single function that what is on ERC 721 receiver and why we do need this in our contract and what kind of role it's play. Then we have to understand this, this entire formula, the method which we are following that why we are constructing in this way. So this is the entire smart contract of Uniswap. We're going to do a lot of modifications in each of this function to make it our own so we can utilize it. So we have to understand this non fungible position manager. We have to understand this deposit and we have to understand there's a lot of things goes into this. So we're going to have a detailed discussion on every single contract which Uniswap provide because that's all we're going to use to make a true Uniswap clone. Not like that, you can just simply do with the code with one token. We have to have the exact functionality which Uniswap provide and that's what we're going to include. So for that, we have to know every single smart contract which it's used and the protocol it's follow. So now the first work I will do, I'm not going to connect the smart contract straight away. I'm going to explain you every single functions which we have used in the contract, why we have used it, what roles it play and what kind of modification we can do. So that's the first thing we're going to do. First, we're going to understand every single contract, every single parameter. Then we'll focus on the SDK, Uniswap SDK, and we're going to understand every single function it's provide. SDK is so powerful that even you don't need to write the sorty smart contract. You need the ABI, you need the address of the factory, and you can simply use it as a JavaScript library, and you can easily be able to fetch all the data. You can create pools, you can add liquidity, you can swap token, you can do everything with this SDK only. This is going to be the second. We're going to cover about this SDK. Once we're done with this, the contract contract and the SDK, SDK, then we'll move to the front end and we're going to connect the smart contract and we're going to include the SDK along with the smart contract to make it fully responsive, fully usable exchange. Are the upcoming videos, this is what I'm going to follow because this is a really tough concept. You have to understand that what is the roots, what is the square root, what's mathematical formula it's following to calculating the price, the curve, what curve ratios are there. There's a lot of things because when I started at that time, it was very complicated for me and it took me almost 
almost 15 days to analyze every single things that what is happening exactly the reason why i'm going with this approach because i can straight away build this project but in that scenario what will happen that you will not understand everything you will not understand the protocol the behavior of the contract and the function which uniswap provides so that will create a confusion and you're not able to add anything from your own side in the next upcoming video we're going to talk about the smart contract of uniswap the sdk v3 sdk we're going to use there is a v2 but we're not going to use v2 we're going to use v3 and we're going to understand every single thing about this uniswap once we're done with that that we're going to connect the contract and the sdk and we're going to make it full fledged decentralization so that's going to be my plan and that's the update i want to give you and as for the code I'll, i have provided you the code of that whatever we have done so far so you will find that code in this article so make sure you come to the author cell block section in this article you will find the complete source code complete updates so from here you can be able to access the resource and that's the overview i wanted to give you guys hope you guys have got the complete idea that how i'm going to take this project ahead okay so we're not going to make just like a simple project we need to make it fully fledged so you can start as a startup so if you want to launch your own decentralized exchange all you have to do is to simply launch this one because it's working it will be working fine as the original one so that's my motive and this is how i generally try to learn and try to build any of my project and that's the only thing i want to talk about this project so make sure to follow and the video will start coming in the next two days so you can continue watching once we learn everything about the uniswap then definitely we're going to move to our project and we're going to make it 100% live and usable okay so see you next time have a wonderful